Hey, welcome to The Handy Guys, and tonight we're gonna to talk about light bulbs again, as we've done in the past. We're gonna focus on LED bulbs and whether they're worth it. All right, Paul, I'm gonna call bullshit. Ah! Okay? Okay. <laughs> all right, so these we've hated all along. We've talked about these yeah. compact fluorescents since, since the beginning. These they, are on their way out. They take a, wet, a long time to warm up. Most of them you can't use with a dimmer. They don't last as long as they've been advertised. And they poison you if they break. And, right, and they're mercury, so, they poison you. I don't you. want these in the house. And, right, okay. You... So I thought that LEDs were gonna be, you know, the saving grace here. That they were gonna, that the LEDs were going to address every one of those problems. And, and one of these does, it, it's instant on, yep. it's dimmable. And you know it saves energy, and it seems to last a long time. But, and they, and, and also the new LEDs like these fit their standard sockets that right. we've always they, had. They look like yeah. a light bulb. Right. The color matches. It. They're they're you really can, nice. You can get it in your incandescent type of light, or you can get it in a white light. If some people, if you right. like your daylight bulb, so the color matches. It comes right. on. It works just like your incandescent, and it, it costs a fraction of the price to run. Right. Obviously, it costs a lot but, more to Paul, purchase. We've been somewhat of uh, early adopters with LEDs. Right. So as new technology has come along, new brands have come out, we've been quick to, to yep. try them out here in the Handy Guy studio or in your house or in my house or whatever. Right. And you had your first failure. Right, so these bulbs you see out here, I've had good success with, have had no problems. However, I have- Not a, all of them. All those out here except well, the, for one. This okay. is another brand. And this We're bulb- We're not even talking about brands. This bulb is only two years old, and I'm gonna turn it on here, and I've had a failure with this already. It's first only two years all, old. First of all, when you turn that switch on, there was a pause before it actually lit yeah. up. That's I'm, what those curly Q bulbs did. Yeah, I think the result, this one has always had a slight pause, but then it comes on at full brightness. Okay. But it's failed me. Looks like it's working to me. It does look like it's working, however, on a dimmer switch that I have, where I have my ceiling lights. Now this has been the other issue, now whether they will work on dimmer switches. I right. have- All of these are advertised yes. to work on dimmers. On most as dimmers. that one They was. say most dimmers, I think. Right. And uh, you know, dimmable says right on the box. I have good right. success. I have several circuits with dimmable circuits and a chandelier, uh, and they all work fine. And you've and had my that kitchen. on a dimmer in your kitchen it's, for two it's years. It's worked for two years, and it's on the same circuit with three other LED bulbs, and I have several different <laughs> varieties and brands because right. I wanted to kind of long-term test. Them. Right. This one has failed. And what it does is, it, it unless it's full blast on the dimmable switch, if it's just a little bit less than full brightness, it will blink. It blinks, like dee, 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 yeah, dee. On, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. Well, that's annoying as hell. It doesn't make that noise. <laughs> it doesn't make the noise. <laughs> so yeah, of course it's annoying. I got home one day from work and, and I was told there's something wrong with that light bulb. So I didn't even try to troubleshoot. I just took it out, put in a new incandescent that I had sitting around and problem solved for now. But uh, I do want to pursue this. Here's the problem I have. You're calling bull because some of these advertise what? Uh, eight years, 10 years, 20, 15 right. years. 35,000 hours. Right. So Where this is has that? only been used for about a year and a half to two years. 22.8 years. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's all nice and good. So then the question is, all right, they have a, a warranty. 22.8 years. They have a proof of purchase and a warranty. So am I expected to store the label, which is a proof of purchase or a receipt or something for what, 20 years here? Just in you, case yes, it goes? Yes, you are. So I'm supposed to store now. All these receipts for every bulb in the house. How many bulbs do you have in your house? I don't know, uh, a thousand. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. So I'm gonna contact this comp company. We'll let you know what happens. Right. I know from doing some searches that other people are having similar problems where a bulb will start blinking. It's not always on a dimmer circuit either. I've seen the issue on a normal really? circuit, I, right. I think. Let us know in the comments if you're having problems, but we wanna know are we on the right track here with LEDs, or is this all right. just, a, we're just, we're gonna be screwed here? Right, so early adopter light, right? right? Maybe this one is gonna have problems, and one that's a, a little more modern, it's also less expensive, but maybe a little more robust. Maybe we won't have that problem yeah, with this Yeah, perhaps one. the newer ones, right. that we've had great maybe, success maybe already. that's like your first iteration, and that's where the problem is. I don't know, we'll all right. find out. So there you have it. Uh, the question is whether LEDs are bull or not. Let us know in the comments. I'd be curious to hear what you think. Thanks for watching.